Today, let's build timeline component with Next.js and ZCN UI. And as you can see, this is the final timeline UI look like. Super nice. As you can see, this is, of course, responsive. And I also want to show you how to create really nice component with React. As you can see here, our timeline is going to be look like this. We have a parent timeline. We have the timeline item, header, time, title, and also the description. This is really cool because I'm going to show you how to the best way create React component. So yep, without any further ado, let's just get started. After I generate Next.js and then install ZCN, I just create this component right here called Timeline Layout. This is just a really simple component. I just import that on the page right here and adding some maximal width and also the background right here. And then if I take a look at that right here, it's going to be look like this, right? Really simple. So next thing is we are going to create another file called timeline.tsx. So in here is basically I'm going to create component that should have kind of like the best practices how to create component like Setsy and doing. So the way we do that is going to be like this. So anyway, the first thing is we are going to create timeline parent component and then inside the timeline we have the timeline item and then inside the timeline item we have timeline header and then timeline description timeline header is wrapping the time and also the title right and then we can import that timeline inside the timeline layout like this so basically we use the timeline right here and then also inside the timeline we can map through the data and then just render the timeline item like this all right so now the first thing is i'm going to just copy and paste the data so this is the data that we have timeline data and for the type i'm going to get that from the timeline item type this is basically just really simple type as you can see we have id number title description time is basically a string all right so now let's go to timeline and then here I'm going to create my first component called timeline. Set equals to, I'm going to use react.forwardref. The reason I'm using this because it's more simple. As you can see here on the documentation, forwardref let you component expose a DOM node to parent component with a ref. So let me show you how the example look like right here. So basically inside the forwardref, we can create a function and then we can grab the props and then ref and then this ref we can paste in that into the component right here all right so let's go back and try to create the function right here like this i'm going to use arrow function by the way so here i'm going to render just single a diff with self-closing tag if i hover this as you can see we get this error timeline extend value but never use and then we are going to export it right here so let's do export and then i'm gonna say timeline like this if i hover that again as you can see we get this component definition is missing display name so we have to say like timeline dot display name set equals to timeline just like this and then of course i think we need to import the react on the top right here so now we can import the timeline on this return so we can say timeline like this right and then as you can see we can send a children but we get this error children has no property okay that is because we don't specify any type for this forward ref so i'm gonna say this component should be have html div element and also for the ref i want to specify that to react.html attribute like this and inside the html attribute i want to put the html div element so basically you can say like props and then ref okay so this prop is basically this html div element and this ref is basically all of this okay so these props I'm, go I'm going to destructuring right here so i'm going to grab the class name so let's grab the class name and also i'm going to grab the another props like this let's say ref set equals to ref like this and then also for the class name i'm going to set that to class name like this so let's also destructuring all the props so as you can see here we're just returning a div with a ref we 
sending this ref come from the props right here and then class name set equals to class name and also the another props right here okay so now if i go back here and there's no error right now right and i can basically send any dom like the documentation say right here so we, this is will expose a dom node to parent so basically as you can see if i typing control and then space we have all the dom that this div right here have right because we set that to html div element so that's why here we have um on click and next order right cool if i see on the browser here we go it just rendered this text right here. so now let's create the timeline item so i'm going to copy all of this and paste that down here and i'm going to change the name into let's say timeline item it's like that save and then of course we can just export the timeline item like this and we can use that on the timeline layout but first i'm going to add another class on this class name right here so i'm going to use cn function right and then right here i'm going to add relative class and then also padding bottom to egg and also padding life to egg and also for the small and more i'm going to say padding left into 44 and also i'm going to say comma and then send the class name come from the props we need to map through the timeline data and then render the timeline item okay so we can say timeline data and then dot map we grab the individual item and here i just want to return the timeline item all right so as you can see we get this error because when we map through we always need to say key and then the key is going to be item.id nice so now if i save and take a look on the browser what we have as you can see this is what we have and of course because we send the class name on this div and also on this div right here of course we always can do like class name on this specific component right here like class name i can do background red it's just works all right nice let's just remove the background red okay so next let's create another component which is timeline header let's go to timeline and then we are going to just copy and paste this component here like that and we need to change the name to timeline header on the timeline header component i just want to change the class name with this class name right here i just paste that right here so now let's try to render the timeline header on this timeline layout but first of course we need to export that and then we can use that on the timeline layout so in here i'm going to do timeline header like this and inside the timeline header basically we have uh, i'm going to put for example let's say uh, p tag in here i'm going to say time and also uh, this is going to be let me showing you right here title let's go back here and i can i can say title let's save and let's take a look on the browser what we have so as you can see this is what we have and then uh, i just want to try to remove the background here and here we go as you can see we have the timeline time and title right here okay if i open that on the mobile for example let me doing that like this and as you can see time is on the top and title is on the bottom it's just because on this class name in here first we set the flex column and then for the small and more i believe we set the flex to row nice so now we need to create another component i just want to copy this time timeline item component and then just paste that down here so this is for let me say timeline title just like that for the title i'm going to change this html div element into html paragraph element like this and for the div here i'm going to change that to p tag and also for the class name i'm going to change that to my class name i just want to copy and paste that to right here let me do that paste and as you can see we have text xl font bold and text primary so let's create component called timeline time set equals to error function and in here i just want to return the batch so we can say batch like this just make sure we also import that from the ui slash batch right here right and then now down here of course we need to set the display name as well let's do that and then i just want to copy the function name paste that right here 
and then now we can just export that down here we can remove this time right here and we can say timeline time like this and then we can send basically the item dot uh, let's say time and also down here we also can import the timeline timeline title and also we can send item dot title just like this and as you can see we get this error that's because uh oh this is going to be timeline title and then let's see timeline title as well but we don't get the export uh, maybe we don't yet export that right here the timeline title like this right so now we can use that down here the timeline title so let's just import that and timeline time just import that and this is have a uh, error because we don't get the any children it's fine for now so let's go back to right here and as you can see basically we have this example with batch styling and then also the title right here nice so let's go back to the timeline right here on the timeline time we can destructuring the last name varian and then the props right here and the type is going to be come from the react.component props type of batch right here okay so now we can use this prop right here class name varian and also the props into this batch right here so let me just paste that right here and as you can see my custom class name and then put the class name come from the props and then the varian and then also the another props and also the children so as you can see now we have children of course now there's no error if i go back here and as you can see great everything look nice and the last thing is we are going to create the timeline description i just want to paste the timeline description is going to be really similar this is going to be html div element and as you can see i adding text mute foreground to make it the text a little bit dark and then just we export the timeline description down here and then everything should be works here we go nice let's go to timeline layout and under the timeline header we can just paste the timeline description and we can send the item description right here if i save let's go back and as you can see it look great but there is one thing that i miss as you can see here the vertical line is a little bit outside the timeline so let me go back on right here let me go to timeline item and we need to add one class name called group right here if i save and now it works as you can see everything looks super nice and now i can add for example margin top on this timeline i can do class name margin top to 10 for example save and here we go right and this is of course responsive if i open that on the mobile size let me do that it's gonna be look like this right super super nice and then let me go back here and i'm i'm going to add padding x into i don't know egg so you can see the space right here here we go so basically this timeline is created by this guy right here i don't know how to pronounce that turnersi and you can basically just simply copy and paste the timeline layout and also the timeline component and using that but in this video i like to share with you how this guy create this beautiful timeline component it's look really really cool right so yeah for this video hope you enjoy and learn something new so see you guys on the next one